Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Mr. Ikwan Hazan bin Idris And today we are going to learn English together But before we begin with our today's lesson I want you to look at at these two different sentences Can you identify what type of tenses are being used for these two sentences? The first sentence is I drink a lot of water every day And the second sentence is I am drinking now I am drinking now So boys and girls Can you guess What kind of tenses are being used For these two different sentences Well The answer is The first sentence is Present simple tense And the second sentence is Present continuous tense Without further ado Let's start with our to this lesson So boys and girls For to this lesson Is lesson number 3 And we are focusing at Language awareness Now What we are learning today is Firstly We are learning to identify the reasons Why we use present simple tense By matching the correct sentences Secondly We are learning to identify the reasons Why we use present continuous tense By matching the correct sentences And thirdly We are learning to identify Stative verbs by underlining the correct words So now boys and girls The question is The big question is Did you know What is the difference Between present simple tense And present continuous tense Now let's look at At this slide So boys and girls, what is the difference between present simple and present continuous tense? As you can see the table here, on your left side is present simple tense and on your right side is present continuous tense. Let's take a look at the differences. Firstly, we use present simple tense when we want to talk about things which are always true or facts. For example, water boils at 100 degrees. It's a fact, right? Whereas we use present continuous tense when we want to talk about things which are happening at the moment of speaking. For example, the water is boiling now, so you can put in the noodles. Secondly, when we want to talk about permanent situations, we use present simple tense. For example, Nick lives in Wakaf Baru. When we want to describe temporary situations, we use present continuous tense. For example, Nick is living in Kuantan for a few months. So it means that Nick is staying in Kuantan just for a short period of time. We also use present continuous when we want to describe situations which are slowly changing. As for example here, I'm getting better and better at speaking English. Thirdly, when we want to describe habits or things that we do regularly, things that we always do. For example, I drink coffee every morning. We use present continuous tense when we want to talk about temporary or new habits. Example, I'm drinking too much coffee these days because I'm so busy at work. We also use present continuous when we want to talk about annoying habits. For example, 
My classmates are always leaving the classroom in a mess. And finally, we use present simple tense when we want to talk about future events which are part of a timetable or schedule. For example, my train leaves at 9 to 9. And we use present continuous tense when we want to talk about definite future plans. As for example here, I'm meeting Lily after school today. So now let's take a look at the second table here. On your left, you can see four types of formations, which are affirmative, negative, interrogative, and WH question. So when we want to confirm something, for present simple tense, basically for singular subject, we will, we will add S after the main verb, but we don't add S after the main verb for plural subject. As you can see the example there, she plays guitar. She is singular subject. The main verb is play, so we add S after the main verb there. They play guitar. This is plural, so that's why we don't add S after the main verb. Whereas for present continuous, we will add verb to be before the main verb and we will add ing after the main verb. Example there, she is playing guitar. She is singular subject followed by a verb to be is, the main verb is play and then we put ing after the main verb. She is playing guitar. Second example, they are playing guitar. Why we use verb to be are? Yes, because the subject is they, it's plural. That's why we use verb to be are. Now let's look at the second formation. Negative formation, when we want to deny something about. For present simple tense, we will use auxiliary verb, which are do or does. We will add do or does the auxiliary verb after the subject as you can see there he doesn't play guitar so we add auxiliary verb do or does after the subject followed by not second example there i don't play guitar for present continuous we will use verb to be after the subject followed by not and we will add ing after the main verb as for example there he is not playing guitar i'm not playing guitar when you want to ask about something for present simple sentence we will add auxiliary verb at the beginning of a question as you can see there in the table does your mother have a car? Mother is a single subject, so that's why we use the verb does. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Second example, do you like watching Korean TV dramas? Why we use auxiliary verb do? Yes, correct, because the subject is you. So do you like watching Korean TV dramas? The answer is, yes, I do. No, I don't. Meanwhile, for present continuous, when you want to ask about something, we will put verb to be at the beginning of a question. As for example there, is she watching TV? Why we use the verb to be is? Because the subject is singular, she. Is she watching TV? The answer is yes, she is. No, she is not. Second example, are you looking for a job? Yes, I am. No, I am not. And lastly, WH questions formation. When we want to form WH questions, we will put auxiliary verb after the WH question. Example there. What does Saleha do every morning? So we put auxiliary verb 
before the subject and after the WH question. What does Saliha do every evening? Saliha plays badminton with her friends. Another example there. When do you usually get up? I usually get up at 10 before 6 a.m. Meanwhile, for present continuous, we will add verb to be after the WH question and also before the subject. As you can see, example there. What is your sister doing? So the verb to be is comes before the subject and after WH question. What is your sister doing? My sister is reading her favorite novel. Another example is when are we going to meet? We are going to meet tonight. If you wish to read more about these four formations, you may pause this video. So boys and girls, I hope now you have some ideas what is the difference between present simple and present continuous. Now, let's move on to our first activity for today. Before that, I want you to take out your close-up textbook. Close-up textbook and turn to page number 9. I repeat, page number 9. If you don't have this textbook with you now, do not worry, you can refer to the screen here. Now let's look at activity A. I repeat activity A and let's read the instructions together. The instruction is, read the sentences below, match each sentence with one use of present simple. Are you clear of the instruction, boys and girls? Good. Now, let's look at the questions. There are four questions. And also, you can see below it, four different uses of present simple. I repeat, there are four questions and four different uses of present simple. Let's look at question number one. Water boils at 100 celsius question number two his parents work at a bank question number three we have a dance class next week question number four the final question the english drink a lot of tea now let's look at at the uses of present simple a habits and repeated actions b permanent situations c scientific facts and d future actions based on timetables and schedules okay now boys and girls are you ready to try out this exercise if you do you may pause this video if you need more time if not we can discuss the answers in five seconds. So now, boys and girls, are you ready to discuss the answers? Let's start. The first question, question number one. Water boils at 100 Celsius. What do you think the answer? Good job. The answer is C. Scientific facts. Question number two. His parents work at a bank. The answer will be? Yes, the answer is B. Permanent situations. Question number three. What do you think the answer for question number three, boys and girls? We have a dance class next week. Good job. The answer is D. Future actions based on timetables and schedules. And finally, the last question, question number four. The English drink a lot of tea. It is habits and repeated actions so now boys and girls when we want to use present simple we also need to consider to use adverbs of frequency so what is adverbs of frequency as you can see on the screen now here is a list of adverbs of frequency for example always usually often sometimes and the list goes on 
Now the question is how how do we use adverbs of frequency in present simple tense? It's very easy. You need to put adverbs of frequency before the main verb. I repeat, you put adverbs of frequency before the main verb. As for example, I always eat pizza. I always eat pizza. Are you clear now? We also use adverbs of frequency in present continuous, but most of the time, we are using adverbs of frequency in present simple tense. If you get all the answers correct for activity A, good job, well done to you. If not, do not worry, we still have few activities that we can try later on. Now, let's move on to activity B. So now, boys and girls, please look at activity B and let's read the instructions together. Read the sentences below, match each sentence with one use of the present continuous. So for activity B, the instruction is almost the same as in activity A, but now we are focusing at present continuous. Now let's look at the question. Question number one, you are always interrupting me. Question number two, what are you doing at the weekend? Question number three, I am saving up for a car. Question number four, the baby is crying, it must be hungry. And the last question, question number five, families are becoming smaller and smaller these days. Now let's look at the uses of present continuous tense. A. Actions happening now. B. Temporary situations. C. Future plans. D. Annoying habits. And E. Changing and developing situations in the present. I want you to focus at the words that are being bold in each question so that you have a clue what is the answer. So are you ready to answer the questions boys and girls? If you need more time to answer the questions, you may pause this video now. If not, we will discuss the answers together in 5 seconds. Okay. Are you ready? Let's discuss the answers together. Question number one. You are always interrupting me. Can you guess the answer for question number one, boys and girls? Good job. The answer is D. Annoying habits. The clue is the word interrupting. Question number two. What are you doing at the weekend? The clue is at the weekend. So, the answer for question number two will be... Good job. The answer is C. Future plans. Question number three. I am saving up for a car. What do you think the answer for question number three, boys and girls? Yes, correct. The answer is B. Temporary situations. Question number four. The baby is crying. It must be hungry. And the answer for question number four is A. Actions happening now. The baby is crying. And the last question, question number five. Families are becoming smaller and smaller these days. And the answer is E. Changing and developing situations in the present. Do you get all the answers, great boys and girls? If you do, good job. Well done. It shows that you are now have a clearer idea what is the difference between present simple and present continuous. Now let's move on to our 
third activity for today's lesson. So now we are looking at stative verbs. Look at activity C and let's read the instruction together. Read the sentences below and underline the verbs. Remember, underline the verbs. Are you clear what you need to do, boys and girls? But before that, let's look at, at the questions. Number one, Peter hates his new school. Number two, he understands the problem now. Number three, these flowers smell wonderful. Four, who owns the blue car outside? So, are you ready to try this activity? If you do, you may pause this video now. If not, let's discuss the answers in 5 seconds. Okay? Remember, just now, you were told to underline the correct verbs to identify stative verbs. Let's discuss the answer together. Sentence 1. Peter hates his new school. The verb is, good job, the verb is hates. Sentence number 2. He understands the problem now. And the verb will be, understands. Good job. Sentence 3. These flowers smell wonderful. Can you guess the verb? Yes, the verb is smell. And the last sentence, who owns the the blue car outside. The verb is owns. Now, let's look at activity D and read the instructions. Complete the rule with the present simple or present continuous. Shall we read the descriptions together, boys and girls? Okay. We don't use some verbs in continuous tense. They are called stative verbs because they describe states and not actions. To talk about the present, we use these verbs in the... Can you fill in the blank with the correct answer, boys and girls? I'll give you only 5 seconds. Three, four, five. The answer is good job. Well done. The answer is simple. Now let's read the description again. We don't use some verbs in continuous tenses. They are called stative because they describe states and not actions. To talk about the present, we use these verbs in the simple tense. So we are using stative verbs in present simple tense. Okay, boys and girls, how are you doing so far? So far, so good, right? Okay, now let's move on to the next activity. Now let's take a look at activity G. I repeat activity G. Are you ready, boys and girls? Let's read the instructions together. Complete the text with the correct present simple or present continuous form of the verbs in brackets. Are you clear what you need to do? You need to fill in the blanks with the correct form of present simple or present continuous form. Let's look at the article entitled Identical Twins. But before that, can you name me? At least one famous identical twins. Well, I have one, and they are Ideal Zafwan and Zakon Adha, our famous national footballers. You may pause this video now if you feel that you need more time. If not, we are going to discuss the answers in five seconds. 
Now let's discuss the answers together. Question number one. The verb in the bracket is think. So what do you think of the answer for question one? Good job. The answer is think. I think. You should not add S after the main verb think here because of the subject is I. So the answer is I think that article twins are fascinating. How about question number two? Sentence two. They and the, the verb in the bracket is have. Good. The answer is they have. They have the same DNA. But they've got different fingerprints and they often have different personalities too. My sisters, Katie and Sandy, number three boys and girls, number three. Look at the verb in the bracket is be. It means that it's verb to be. We are focusing at verb to be is R and M. So between these three is R M. Which one do you think? is the best verb to describe the third question the third sentence here good the answer is my sisters katie and sandy are two persons there right my sisters katie and sandy are identical twins and my parents and i how about number four number four the two different verbs right not and no the answer is do not know. My parents and I do not know. Which twin is which most of the time? In fact, they, number five, the answer is, well done. The answer is, they are always playing. That is present continuous. They are always playing. Tricks on us, which is not funny. Number six, look at the sentence. Do you think it is a present simple or present continuous for number six? Very good. It is present simple tense and the answer is they wear. They wear different clothes every morning. So we know who is who, but then they, how about number seven? Number seven is they sometimes change they sometimes change clothes later just to confuse us number eight sentence number eight katy look at the sentence again and decide whether it's present simple or present continuous yes it is present simple and the answer would be katy spends katy spends you should put S after the verb spend because the subject is singular. So, Kathy spends a lot of her free time reading books. But Sandy, you know the answer, right? It's very simple. The answer is Sandy hates. We put S after the verb hate because Sandy is singular subject. Hates reading. She often complains about it saying, Kathy... The last sentence, is it present simple or present continuous, boys and girls? Good, it is present continuous. And the answer is, Katie is reading again. Do you get all the answers correct, boys and girls? If you do, well done, good job. If you don't, do not worry. We still have more exercises that we can do together later on. Okay, so now, I hope that you have a better idea, better understanding about the differences between present simple and present continuous tense. Now, let's move on to our final activity for today's lesson. As for our final activity for today's lesson, it's very simple. As you can see on the screen now, you can see there is a pyramid. And that is called Pyramid Reflection. There are three questions for you to answer. The first one, write three 
present simple sentences. Second question, write two present continuous sentences. And the last question, state or write one new verb or one new word you have learned from today's lesson. Do not worry, you can have your time to complete the pyramid reflection and then do not forget to share it with your English teacher. Okay, so boys and girls, before we end our today's lesson, let's recap what we have learned for today. We have learned about how to identify the reasons why we use present simple by matching the correct sentences. Number two, we learn how to identify the reasons why we use present continuous by matching the correct sentences. And thirdly, we also learn how to identify stative verbs by underlining the correct verbs. So boys and girls, we have come to the end of our today's lesson. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and have gained a lot of information and new knowledge while watching this video. Remember to share this video with your friends so that they also know about the differences between present simple and present continuous tense. I would like to thank all of you for your time patience and attention with that i'm mr ikwan stay safe stay at home and keep on learning bye bye